Welcome to a new episode of Optics Trade Debates. My name is Theodor. My name is Tade. Hello. And today we are going to speak about a topic associated with Leica products, and this is Leica Aquadura. It's their technical term for one of their coatings. And today, what do they say at Leica about their Aquadura? They say that all of their products, except some, are protected against water, damage, and dirt. That's their slogan. That's their slogan, yeah. So yeah. basically, they are talking about a external surface coating on their lenses, which are exposed to the external elements. So that means on the lens on the, on the eyepiece and on the lens in the objective. Mm -hmm. um, so this external coating protects their products. That's yeah? correct. But um, if we go more into into more into depth, um, how does it work? Well, basically, it's a coating which uh, raises the surface tension of different materials. So that if if we go from physics to more in use practical um, explanation, it basically means that when the water comes to the to the surface in the eyepiece or the objective, uh, the coating makes the water do bigger droplets than it usually would. So that means that uh, when, let's say you have a product without Leica Aquadura, mm -hmm. if it comes into contact, let's say with bread, when you do like this, uh, without Aquadura, it will fog up externally. Yes. So with Aquadura, it will also fog up, but for really small amount of time and all water will very soon or very quick in, in one second or something like that will start to form big droplets instead of a small mist or fog and that means that you can still normally use your binoculars even if your warm breath comes into contact with the external surfaces in, let's say on a cold morning mm -hmm. so it basically helps you use the binoculars better in adverse conditions also when raining when a rain droplet hits, let's say, the, the optical, uh, the surface of the, of the objective uh, lens or the eyepiece lens, yeah. it will just slide down immediately. It will just go, uh, the gravity will push it down immediately, it will not stick. And the same goes with oil, with grease, dirt and so on. It will not stick to the lens. Mm -hmm. It's really funny and it's, it's a, such a, probably not the best example, but still, when you see the, the technology of Willerboch on their urinals yeah. and nothing sticks to them, this is the technology on, the, on these lenses. Or if you see on YouTube channel nano coatings, when you see when uh, somebody has a cloth uh, and you pour oil on it and it just uh, pours down mm -hmm. and nothing sticks, that's actually Aquadura. Is it possible that this coating stops working after a period, a period of time? Ooh, this is a hard question. I would say no, but you know, it all depends on the period of time. Mm -hmm. 50 years from now, probably, it who knows. It also protects a little bit. No, I'm not saying that you are now able to go with a, with a screwdriver on the yeah. lenses and, and try if, if it makes a mark or not. But it does mildly protect the lenses against scratches. Mm -hmm. So light scratches, it can protect them. Uh, uh, it, it can protect lenses against light scratches. Still, if you will use a metal object and you will do a scratch, normal, that's normal. Yeah. But uh, unintentionally, uh, the chance of making a scratch will be much lower than without Aquadura. Mm. So uh, this is the difference. And today now, the, I would say the last question almost is, where can we find Aquadura on Leica products? Well, Leica states that all basically, almost all of their products are uh, are are this Aquadura coatings are applied to almost all of their products except mm -hmm. the Trinovit uh, binoculars. Mm -hmm. So all of the all the Geovits, Geovits, uh, Noctivits, Noctivits, Ultravits, Ultravits um, even some uh, rangefinders, I think. Yeah, also yeah, the range masters range also masters. have it, and the Televit, the telescopes, they also have it. Yes, that's uh, correct. The Trinovit 42 models. 32 models and 20 and 25 models, they are lacking it. There, they don't and have I think code. the duo with also lacks mm -hmm. Aquadura. Mm -hmm. So the uh, variable magnification binoculars, which are 
not that common, even though Leica produces them. Mm. Everything else, all the geobits, ultravits, noctivits, and so on. Also, all of their rifle scopes, yeah. I think, except Visus. Visus, I think, I think is yeah, lacking. I think Magnus and the ER also yeah. has this. I think, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Except the Visus. It could Visus. Be, uh, For Visus, I'm not sure. Mm. This is something that you need to check on the, on the web page. Correct. But still, all in all, if you make a short summary, Aquadura is something that is really nice having. For me personally, the best thing is in the cold mornings, when you go out and use the binoculars, your warm breath doesn't fog up, I would say at least not permanently, the, yeah. eyepiece, of the, the eyepiece lenses. So the fog maybe lasts only for one second or, or something like that. And then immediately big droplets are formed by water and then they, they just slide down and yeah. you're able to use the binoculars normally. I hope you covered everything. I think we did. If you forgot something about Aquadura, please send us an email. We will uh, try to do our best to answer your questions. And normally, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Take care. Bye.